go. Good morning, guys, and welcome to this edition of the Guyanese Critic Morning Live. And again, this is the second edition that's going to be starting outside of the Marriott. And that is because this is the third day of the International Energy Conference uh, 2022. Three days of people wanting to know what's going on in Guyana. Guyana exposing what we have here. This is the third day. And I'm going to just give you a quick recap of um, what's going down here, who's who, who's in the know. Um, the opening the first day was done with speeches by President uh, Mohamed Irfan Ali, uh, Prime Minister Mia Amour Matli, the President of Ghana, um, and also the President of Suriname. And everybody's asking, why are these people here? Why all these dignitaries here? Why are people from 31 countries here? Why are our hotels filled to capacity and we are not able to take uh, more people into our hotels? And that is because um, this energy conference represent uh, the explanation or the showcasing of what can happen in an oil producing country. Uh, people sharing business ideas, a number of different things are gonna come out of this energy conference. And I'm gonna tell you, there are people, there are people from guaranteed 31 countries here right now, all walks of life. And I continue to ask myself, what are they here for? Why are Guyanese not excited about them being here? Now just behind me, a little later down in the day, if you look at the checkpoint, you'll see down that area at the checkpoint, the police is there. Protesters are gonna come out there a little later, right? You're gonna have protesters. And it seems, it seems that we have become a protesting country. One of the problems we're having is persons who have issues are, are protesters, a number of the protesters, including um, the publisher of Kaicho News, Glenn Lal, who seem to be organizing most of these protests. The issue they have is we're revisiting an oil contract that was signed under the previous administration, which is now opposition, who has nothing to say about the oil contract. The opposition themselves don't, don't say anything because of the fact they wait, are aware how we how Guyanese come about with a lopsided oil contract. It was signed with no, not much consultation, um, and it's a done deal. Protesters are continually asking for the revisiting of the oil contract. How is that to be, or why is that to be, since it was done under a different administration? This administration did say they will look at it, morning sweetheart, they will look at it. What I haven't had the opportunity to sit and talk with the president and really ask him where are we as it relates to the lopsided oil contract that we got signed by the previous administration. That being said, that is the present situation we're in. While we are squabbling over an oil contract and many more uh, oil blocks are going to be opening and many more contracts are going to be signed. While we're squabbling, Guyanese are being made to squabble over these things. Behind me, in the Marriott, there's an international energy conference and people are here, ready to capitalize on what's being offered. And I continually ask myself, what is being offered? I'm going to take you inside now and give you a small preview of what's being offered. I know I promised you guys yesterday to take you in to the booths and this is some of the speakers that have um, the president, the prime minister, the vice president, um, the president of Ghana, um, Santoki, the president of Suriname, Mia Moore Motley, um, persons from the UK, uh, Bob Dudley, uh, chairman oil and gas climate initiative. You got people from all over the world are here and want to have their say 
and what's going on with Guyana's oil. Here is one of the first checkpoints of the COVID-19 checkpoint. So these beautiful Guyanese girls are checking up and make sure they got your, your vaccine and thing up to date. <laughs> The tent over here, oh, yes, yes, yes. This, this, this beautiful one too. <laughs> right? Again, the Marriott is filled to capacity. The Pegasus, old hotel, new suites, full to capacity. This event is not limited. This event is not limited to anyone. That's the first thing. You must know it's not limited to anyone um, but you must have uh, a pass you must have some purpose to be coming in here so you can have access online and purchase a pass whether it's a business as a delegate or a business or media whatever you could have applied for that and gotten it and come in here I'm gonna take you just the back and I already been and did my check so I don't have to do the check for a second time but I'm gonna take you just um, past the entrance there that is where Guyanese and local businesses are showcasing what they have to offer in the oil and gas industry and while all of this is going on I want you the Guyanese citizen to realize this, this is the only reason I'm here is to show you that there's huge potential now in the oil and gas industry imagine when you catered for new housing projects happening in Guyana, like Diamond. So they needed steel rod, they needed cement, they needed blocks, you need zinc. In the oil and gas industry, all the things that you would imagine is needed in development and 10 times more is needed. Because oil and gas is offshore. Our oil and gas industry is offshore so you need boats the fishing men who are saying that well um, you know we got boats and the catch is not looking regular how are they planning to come together and capitalize on supplying the needs since they are already in um, the marine area how are they planning to come together and say well here are we gonna have the new sea haulers are we gonna get into that business 10, 15, 20 of us are going to come together and we're going to get into that business where we're going to capitalize on the oil and gas industry. Even the ones who are catching fish now, are they going to package their produce, the fish, in a certain way that they could deliver it to persons in the oil and gas industry? And that is, that is some of the questions that are being asked and need to be asked. Guyanese have to ask themselves, how do they capitalize? You got to get gloves, you got to get safety equipment, the people who are working have to get clothes, they gotta get boots, who are importing this stuff. And I will take you inside where you will see businesses already capitalizing. We've got impressions is down here. Because with the oil and gas industry, who do you think is doing all these prints? Who do you think um, is gonna have the job of doing all these designs and billboards? Who's gonna do that? Guyanese have the opportunity through a rigorous local content policy and I haven't read the local content policy, so I, I retract in saying it's rigorous. But you have to go through the local content policy and ensure that it is for you, the Guyanese citizens, the Guyanese citizen, and ensures that you get. Because I'm going to tell you guys something. You're going to be walking there, and I want you to look at the kind of people who are moving around. People from 31 countries, heads of states from three countries are here as we speak. All of our neighbors are coming here. Guyanese have to take this opportunity seriously. How do you benefit from it? If you look at everybody, they're on the ground. Even the diplomats are here. What do you think is their intention? To see how best they can capitalize and get things for the people, things for the people of their country. So, without further ado, I'll take you in and you will get a look at um, what's going on in the expo area with the boots and so on.
Everything cool? Hmm? Yeah. All right. Cool. Roger, will do, bro. So, get a glimpse of what's going on here, guys. I know a lot of people are here, but like now, let me show you something. I just, I just was given a card by Raj Jewelry custom design jewelry made and and they're here people with jewelry just give me a quick update what were you guys are doing here um we're doing a covid 19 checklist okay beautiful so you do you come when you're coming in before you go into the booth you get your covid 19 checklist and i think police gonna do everything cool oh i thought they don't deal with like me Oh yeah, are you going so girl? Something gone in the lady eye, the police lady eye. Hello. Hello. Everything alright? Oh, cool, huh? Oh, thanks. Something gone in the police lady eye. She watching me cross when I'm blinking up shy. I know what she program. But little does she know that the Guyanese critic is not somebody who loses sleep over certain things. So this is the impressions booth. So soon you come in, impression is making an impression here. And we should be proud of this. As you know, Impression is a Guyanese brand and you should be very proud of it. Impression is making an impression here. How they set out the place. So any island gas guys wanna hold a party or hold a conference, they could reach out to Impressions and get their stuff, right? From start to finish, they would set up your thing. This is uh, Star Party Rentals. Hey, good morning guys. So. Is it Star Party Rentals that have in the tents? These two AC tents? All the set to pay. Beautiful. Beautiful. So, again, local company, Star Party Rentals, all the boots here, everything. You say, are you sure nobody has Star Party Rentals that big? We are the largest rental company in this country. Oh! Okay, okay. Most extensive, modern, and reliable asset in cradle to grave man these people are serious buddy me want me want daddy the man said cradle to grave me me want these people are serious so <laughs> so you're seeing yeah yeah brother so you're seeing here what's going on and you should be proud to know and this is no joke this is no joke so this thing coming out there's a there's a there's a big screen here yes yeah roger that we put them on the man let me see what's going on it could come on I said it by time I pass back. See? <laughs> right? So start. These are here. When you go in here, these are huge tents. Let me let me show you the size of this thing from outside. So these are these are huge tents. The boots are inside. Fully AC. Fully AC. Source one. And this is Japarts. Another local company. And let's see what they got. Hey, morning. <laughs> can't complain no complaints so just so you know major construction um, spears safety equipment again Japarts has been uh, you know in the fabric of Guyanese business from the beginning and look at where they are today right you see what this says source one island gas marine supplies Inc right certify certificate of approval so you gotta ask yourself guys how are you gonna capitalize on this i see some boots um you know i decide to come early to again safety stuff lots of safety stuff here genesis group so let me go in and every company has people on, on and look at how the face of our companies are changing right look at how the face of the local company is changing rubis your gas where's buy your gas from right golf engineering services guyana right and there are people here you could come 
auto dealers. Hansen McCall is here with the little Suzuki Jeep. Hansen McCall is here. Why um, should everybody be here? If you've got a business and you're looking to do something in Guyana, you're looking to develop yourself. Pull that for me, boy. Pull that for me. If you're looking to develop yourself, this is the place to be. Wow. And these are fully AC boots. Leader in integrated solutions. So we start from one side and go down the other side. Digital business. And now you see how everybody's presented themselves here. This is a unique opportunity. Very, very unique opportunity to take Guyana to the next level. First thing, we can do the business like it's a farmer's market showdown. But we can, as this says, excel and go to the next level. Everything here is tuned to serve in the oil and gas sector. Morning. Right? Macorp. And you know Macarp has been a part of our, our business and our country for a long time. Wow. Major, major. This is so beautiful. I gotta come back down this way. Local presence, global scale. AI, systems integrated digital, data analytics, beautiful. Uh huh. And people are literally competing here because the oil and gas sector is going to gobble up all um, of the businesses in Guyana. And what I want you to look at now here, my interest is not promoting specific businesses, but I want you to look at the level that everybody has taken themselves to in this country. Business is looking different, and everybody you're seeing here, by the way, are affiliated, um, you know, mostly with Chinese businesses. So when you look, you look how the people dress, you look how the people act, how they, they carry themselves. Caribbean Motor Spears, uh, Guyana. How do you guys plan to capitalize on the, 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 the island gas industry? Well, we will may not be directly involved, but mm. um, those who are directly, indirectly involved, because what tends to happen is that we, we strictly the, the motor vehicles, the mm. like duties, trucks and so on. Mm. So a lot of people will be carrying around pipelines. Okay, you, you'll you be supplying it. spares. You're looking correct, to correct. supply spares yeah, to the people who so does many. jobs for the oil and gas industry. Exactly, Beautiful. Exactly, exactly. Beautiful. So you can expect a dependable service from them. And anything I see with Guyana, I, 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 I highly interested in. And everybody is showcasing on an amazing level what they have to offer. And I come in already specifically, because I know the crowd, I want to see the business, I want to see the show, and there's a crowd coming here at certain times in the day. But remember, we're on the third day of this uh, energy, International Energy Conference. And this here, um, this is just a model of the kind of vessels that take uh, material equipment for the oil and gas industry too. Um, where the drilling is actually going on. So this is just a model and yes, you've got people on the ground here and ready and prepared for the action. Um, now, Gridlock, what's Gridlock about? Obviously, Wood, a company is here and showcasing what they have. So just to give you guys a run through, and my intention is not to pr promote because I, every promoting, I come by me for advertising. I'm supposed to be in here advertising our ability to cover Guyana and showcase Guyana internationally. Being the only person on social media in Guyana who can do that. So I promote him, me. Critical How are you doing, sir? Good technology, sir? Please tell me about it. Tell this me about is, it. You're one, Guyanese, by the way. Uh, All right, safe. From the West Coast. <laughs> cool, cool, cool. Yeah, nice. This, this is a technological healthcare company. We're solving, um, you know, we want to increase access to healthcare for everybody in the country. So what we do is actually we send doctors to people. People don't have to go to the doctors. So depending on wherever you live, if you've got an issue and you connect with us, we'll find a doctor in your locale and get a doctor to come to you. Can I get a doctor to, before I start my program every morning? Because I'm like 
I got some health care, um, oh, mental yeah. health issues. We could get the, you we, got mental health doctors? We can get your psychiatrist. Oh, of course. You have to give me a check out before I come out every morning. <laughs> we could get your psychiatrist. So oh, we could oh. get you a social worker. Tell all. me, what's this it's all about? Medicine kit. They, uh, one, actually, we had one of the very first patients recently did a visit. So this is what happens. The doctor can't come to you. Mm. What we'll do is a nurse can come to you with this kit. Mm. And the doctor could be anywhere in the world. And we've got all sorts of devices. They can check your blood pressure. They could look into your ears, they could do your sugar and a whole lot of other things that you would normally do with the doctor and a show up right here. All right? And if you're from overseas, for example, you already have a doctor and you're here and you want to check in with your doctor, you do it right here through this interface. And they could see you, you see them, you're talking, you, you know, everybody does video chat and so on. Okay, okay. So we're utilizing that technology to make it. Beautiful, beautiful. So that's what we're doing, man. Like How long we have just you? launched the first telemedicine app in Guy. So for example, if I could send you a psychiatrist, but you can also go on the app and find one yourself and talk to them and pay right now. First time in Guyana, yeah. On call, yeah. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> one year. You see a tech one there for you, right? Yeah, yeah, no, good, 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 good. Anything for my Guyanese brothers. So, we're moving on. Um, I'm coming back to the side, though. We're giving me a matter of a game. I thought you're going to kick me with the boots in the hand. So, everywhere you go, there's a lot of networking going on. Here, you got some boots missing, so they had accommodation some more people. And I know where these roads lead in, but they look nice. Very interesting. Safety equipment again. Hello. Everything all right? Thanks. So tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing here and how do you plan to capitalize on the oil and gas industry? Okay, um, first of all, hi, I'm Tana, the agency manager for Junisami Guyana. Junisami uh, is one of the newest members of the Junisami Group of Companies. Uh, we specialize in a lot of civil construction projects. Um, you can see our trucks on the road a lot and that's because we have a number of road projects going on in Guyana. One of which is the four lane highway and the roundabout at Mandela. We also do a lot of services in the oil and gas sector where we um, assist in lifting and transporting any of the heavy equipment and material. And we provide them with a number of uh, materials, pressure run, sifting sand, and the other types of tools. Cool. So we're getting our feet wet in the oil and gas sector. Beautiful. I'm hoping all Guyanese um, are afforded that opportunity. Thanks. And, uh, we, uh, we, our workforce is 98% Guyanese. All our on the ground, our drivers, our truck drivers, they're all guiding. Okay, thanks. So, we're coming through, take a tour around Georgetown. So, you got tours here. Even the tourism sector is capitalizing on this now. And Guyana National Insurance Scheme is also here. Um, improve predictability, performance, and production. Everybody who is anybody is here and i'm gonna tell you you see some of the people yes yeah show me what's safe you boots you got it by oh right there's my partner bonnie yeah 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. and yeah. this this here is um the hardware depot and they're in charlotte street and when it comes to safety equipment now i could tell you a little bit about this business because it's my friend's business and um when you go even to their storeroom Things are packed in a certain manner. Everything is safety related, um, certified, and these kind of things. So I know about this business, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I know about this business. I can tell you, but there is my friend, and um, I get all my safety equipment from him. Hey, Chief. So, communications, right? Yeah, beautiful. Beautiful. Tell me about it. Uh -huh. Remote uh -huh. We provide medical services to remote areas, mostly like oil and gas industry, mining industry, any, anywhere where people need remote medical services. What we have on display is a remote MD card, and with this, this little device here is an ultrasound machine right here in your hand. Oh. And here we have an electrocardiogram machine to do hard tests, just these little things. These are new gadgets. We have 
a little machine here that can do a blood test in just four minutes. Most yeah. likely, when you said new gadgets, very much tested and approved by international approved. standards. Yes. Beautiful, approved. beautiful, cool. We have stethoscope that can connect to the monitor, and our doctors in the United States can listen to exactly what we are hearing. With the ultrasound, we can connect it, and just as we are doing it, a radiologist can see exactly what we're seeing and guide you. This company is American based, but we're operating in Guyana, and we're 100%. Guyanese employment. Well, I could tell you. On local content right here. I could tell you that they're fortunate to have you as a staff. Oh, thank you. To come behind me and get me back and say, watch, showcase our boot. <laughs> so, they don't start with a good team. Once it's 100% Guyanese, I'm all for that. All right, thank, thank, you, thank you guys. You. Cool. You hear that? You see that? So, communications, right? Across. Beautiful. Tell me. Tell me what is this about? We're from Trinidad, a company out of Trinidad, mm -hmm. presently registering in, in, in Guyana soon. We provide telecommunication services, uh, all strata of telecommunication services, microwave systems, wireless communication systems, two-way radios, satellite radios, satellite services, uh, audio-visual equipment, uh, a, a range of stuff. We're a company that has been around for 55 years, um, very experienced, and we want to bring that service to Guyana soon. Not only to oil and gas, hopefully, but to uh, all businesses in Guyana. Soon enough. So you have visited our local content policy? I have, and I... Yes. So you're obviously making arrangements to partner with a local company well, to come here? Uh, to, to satisfy that, of course. The, yeah. the, the idea, however, was to take advantage of the opportunity here. Beautiful, beautiful. I'm glad you did. I'm glad, glad you did. More, and then take that next step. So we'll be taking that next step. Beautiful, beautiful. Thank you for being here and showcasing what you have, and I'm hoping as a result of your uh, coming to the market, Guyana might, uh, you know, be able to jump that leaps ahead with technology. Add yes, add value to, yes, to us. That's the, that's the idea. Thanks a million, sir. Thank you very much. Yeah. So you see what's going on. You got to turn that. You got everybody is here. Guyanese, you guys got to be real, get real, and get down here. So let me go to the next booth. See what's going on? Oh, the next boot would be back that way. And these boots are fully AC, eh? Remember, this is Star Party Rental, and their boots fully AC. Let's go into the next boot, and I promised you guys this yesterday, but you ain't know the half of the story. What happened yesterday? All right. So let me start from, I like starting from my right to my left. And as soon as you enter, beautiful setup. Comfort Villa Plus, right? This is housing. So if you've got a place to rent, you could guarantee when companies like the Trinidad Company, where do you think they're staying? They can't buy a house here, they gotta rent you place. Right, how do you capitalize on that? So we got Falcon or oil and gas experience, whatever that means. We got Caricom insurance. So, whatever you're doing, you gotta be insured. Hi. Hello. How are you? Tell me how you're capitalizing on um, the I oil and gas industry. Okay, well, in the oil and gas industry, we are planning to teach the wives and children of the Exxon Mobile people some of our craft work voluntary, freely. Okay. Now, all the stuff that we basically have here is handmade. From our cards birthday so. cards, our Guyana cards, everything is handmade. We also do craft work, like we make these local jewelry, like the beaded necklaces. We have these handmade stuff made from balata. Balata is a rubbery product that comes from the trunk of trees. Mm -hmm. Everything here is handmade. The name of our business is Everything Makes Craft. We have large dream patches. Now these dream patches, by hanging a dream patcher over your door, it brings good energy into your home. It also takes away all the bad dreams. We have the large ones, we have them in different sizes. We have the keyboard. That, that one look like it's big enough for catch Exile Mobile. <laughs> yes, that's true. Over here we have some hand woven toilet paper holder. Let's say for example in your room you wanna, you know, you don't want your toilet paper to be all over the place, but you want it to be in a simple, simple corner. 
this would be the practical thing to have. Beautiful. We also have these handmade woven handbags that we did ourselves. Very unique pieces. We want our things to look unique. Why I use the word unique is because of the time, the effort, and the energy that we put into making these beautiful stuff so that you, our customers, can feel special. Beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. Well put. Gonna put better than that. You're welcome. That's amazing. So, look, you got people from the aerospace here. We got people with drones. Yeah, brother. Ministry of Energy and Industries, the, the government all the hate. So, IT camera related stuff, security surveillance. Um, beautiful, beautiful safety. Again, one thing is that you fall down, then you fall down. You look like you injure yourself. What you guys are about? Yeah. Oh, boy. You're not too smart. You don't know who you're talking to. You're talking about the phone, and you know. The world could see you put the guy in each critic. So, this is uh, our local um, Guyana Marketing Corporation showcasing a lot of our local stuff when we go back there just now. Cyril transportation services and only yesterday I was talking about Cyril's y'all remember Cyril taxi service this is what Cyril taxi service um, looks like now it's transformed into one of the leading transportation providers for um, Exxon mobile right so how do you capitalize on how a taxi man move in and get a job from the oil company that guarantees him work for years to come there's some of the questions oh, you gotta be asked. And yes, this is um, again island gas people moving. Um Cham Guyano. OGI. Uh, what you guys what was this all about? So what this is this is our Sophia 2 machine, it's an antigen testing device. It is a antigen testing device. Antigen testing. Device. testing device. Uh -huh. So and we have our Quick view kits with the lateral flow testing, which is the same COVID antigen as well. And this would be FDA approved? FDA approved. Beautiful. So now if you got a if you're here, you got a hospital, you got a your doctor's office or whatever, you could come in and, and buy the, the device and get it start doing an antigen testing. More people could capitalize on that. Hello, Care Work Medical Center and Pharmacy. Yes. Tell me a bit about yourself. So we're located on Carmichael Street. We offer pharmaceutical services, all your laboratory needs as well as we have transportation services so shuttles to and from the airport SUV rentals and things like that and we're open from seven in the morning to midnight so it facilitates different timings that you may come out is this a guyanese business partner 100 percent guyanese yes. beautiful uh -huh. love you guys take care Bye. make money and get rich yes. <laughs> yeah again well this thing look fancy this is local everything here is local right yes. so look at this we got mouthwash looking like the mouthwash showies buy you gotta buy when you go to the supermarket ask for our local mouthwash because um one of the problems we used to be having is packaging and as you can you could come and see here this looks like any other product from any other part of the world so i don't see any reason for you guys to ensure that the only products you use is local product This one local and real. This is local? Beautiful. Wow, wow, wow. You see? We up in the game. The game is on. You got wines, um, you know, packets. Uh, this is Pandama wines. I've been there. And, you know, it's a great husband and wife who have come back to Guyana. And they got the Pandama Resort and they're doing the Pandama wines. They do an amazing job. All Guyanese and honey um full flavors wow beautiful coffee look at this packaging beautiful and you guys know we don't use um too much of chemicals in our stuff most of our stuff is naturally grown and so on so you could expect the best quality from Chinese products um i don't know if you guys know but morning glory cereal um, made from rice is a local product and rice crunches 
I don't know if the rice crunches is, is that, but I can remember banks used to do something like that years ago. This is plant and chips and so on. All of these things made locally. Guys, you gotta, you gotta, we gotta up our game and make sure Guyanese products and Guyana gets the full support that it needs. Oh, when I pass back. All right. So they also have sample packs. And this look like the handsome crew. These are the nicest people I see since I come in here. Yeah, so they decide, since all of them so good looking, for come together, you understand? They got the shark one, the tallest one, you know, the wrongest one, the nicest girl. They got to take the nicest crew and put them together and take a picture. And like they certify themselves. <laughs> <laughs> Huh? Okay, okay, beautiful. Tell me a little bit about it. Well, uh, this is 100% Guyanese owned. I am the owner of the school. Uh -huh. And uh, we are offering uh, offshore training for the STCW courses, welding, fabrication, and also we are offering the heavy 2 PT equipment courses as well. Where's your office? We are located in Lot 7 North Road on, uh, for registration and the building. The school is opening on the 28th uh -huh. um, on Friendship on the public road next to the Guyal Gyal Station. Beautiful, beautiful. Keep it up, buddy. Make money and get rich. <laughs> so, guys, you heard there, that's 100. But you want to get into something, you know, go for the education. Expo Barbados, what you going on here? Something with solar dynamics. And this is big in Barbados, and I know about this. Right? Everybody is here and wants to get a piece of the action. Now I'm carrying with the big boys there, right? Again, a lot of safety equipment and so here. So let me carry you with the big boys there, with Exxon and so there, right? You wanna play with the big boys? All right, here we go. So, all right. So again, so this is, what's this Guyana flag about? This one, people know how to catch me, you know, when I see Guyana flag and thing. Manufacturing plus repair services. All right, you see what I'm telling you? Cyril, Cyril in the place. Is they carrying around everybody 100% Guyanese? Let me get real people. Ask yourself how you could benefit from this. You hear what's going on? A guy is there and he's got the school that's gonna train you and certify you to get a job in the, in the oil and gas industry. Because here, they ain't taking no, I like be mechanics, you start picking up bolt, on the ground yeah yeah brother you yeah, start look we got we own banks there H A. we got palm court got the the, the boot there even the people with the liquor know when people don't study hard they want to make money yes brother morning so the first thing you see when you come in is exxon mobile boot and lots lots of people offering safety equipment this total office right i know what total does this is a company that just recently opened the president was there and opened this country company that made a massive investment at land of canaan stipend is a company that's been down here for some time and so let me go wrong from the right hand side as i always like to do it right hello hello so tell me tell me what you guys are about okay <laughs> Part of Farfan Mendes Group of Companies. Mm -hmm. um, this is Pantera. The service section, and we have the solar section, which partners with Cementix. Mm -hmm. Pantera provides services on shore and offshore, scaffolding, robots, uh, painting, blasting, any key inspections. We can do if you um, get a chance. You could scan our QR code. It, all of our services will come up. We have. Let me try something. Oh. So, guys, see if you could pull this up, and you could scan it from the live when the opportunity presents itself. And yes, we also have one of our techs, our offshore technicians. Uh -uh. Crystal Trim. Nobody like she you. Is in the here. Uh -huh. We sent off the first woman offshore, so she's there. She can tell you a little bit about this. So tell me a little bit about how it's been for you offshore. All right. So being the first woman to you know create history in Guyana for the Lazy Destiny, it has been an amazing 
um, experience. Also, learning new stuff, you know, being amongst the guys, it would be like most days you find a lot of guys looking at you to see how you're working. And um, also, the first time I attempted to climb one of the towers out there, while looking down at 150 feet, I saw a lot of guys were just like, you know, like, is she gonna make it? Um, other than that, we have the support, so it makes it easier. And also, the equal opportunity as a woman, being offshore, it, it hasn't been something that was stressful or different to me. It was pretty easy. I can tell you something. I have been, um, you know, talking about domestic violence and women empowerment for a long time. Yeah. I hope you use this opportunity, not only for yourself, but to empower women, you know, maybe you could do talk sometime, come into the studio, let's do an interview. And women can see that there are no bounds. There, there is not, it's not um, as a result of your physical makeup or whatever, you know. So um, I would love for you to use that opportunity, being the first woman to be in the field in the island gas sector. Um, I think it's an, a, a, it would be a wasted opportunity not to you to use that to empower Guyanese women for us to see even more women in that field. But thank you for being strong and being you. Yeah, right? you're welcome. Cool. Thank yeah. you. You're welcome. So now, you're seeing a different face here. But this the, behind this face is Farfan and Mendez. Right? A local company. Right? I'm, I'm right? Farfan and Mendez. Yeah. So, yeah. So behind the scenes of these things, you have a lot of Guyanese come to Republic Bank which I bank with, and if you want a loan, or if you just want to come and look at this beautiful girl come through, I know by the time she's done, you're going to be taking some kind of thing. Raj Jewelry, the guy I met outside just now, right? So if you make little aisle money next year, you can buy a proper gift for your girl, you understand? Roses is fading a day, but diamonds is last forever, so you could come to Raj Jewelry and try a thing there with them. Uh, we're going out here. Logistics, interesting, interesting, nice. Again, there's a model vessel here. Whoa. Uh, SBM offshores. So, very interesting. Safety. And if you notice, there's a lot of safety, need for safety equipment when it comes to these companies. Asuria. Um, by the way, Asuria is, is one of the few insurance companies. When you're a Asuria with Asuria, I could drive my car to Sarnam without even having to worry about insurance because Asuria um, covers me in Sarnam. So if you're looking at Asuria, you know, one of the options is, if you're looking at insurance, one of the options is Asuria. Wow. Tell me, tell me, tell me, talk yeah. to me about it. Well, you don't know the um, Salgo License Custom Broker Service. Everywhere now, mm -hmm. yes. Over 21, over 21 years of experience, we deal with um, import, export, we migrate with the preparation of CG application. We also can the dangerous and hazardous cargo for you. Once, once, once we import it, we can clear it and also export. And we have two branches, one in Georgetown and one in CI, and on the west side, we're 100% local. Local company. Cool, bro. Thanks. So this is what I want to hear about. I want to hear about how, look, we've been, I've been looking at this recently. Um, these are hydrants and these kind of things. And I'm asking myself, how does Guyana capitalize on these things? And you have a lot of Guyanese have um, the money, but might not have the know-how. So you got to partner with different companies. And Glass, Guyana Logistics and Support Services, um, they're down here. the way through Crown Port and Industrial uh, Park project timeline. Hey, tell me a little bit about what you guys are doing. Yeah, so we're a 100% Guyanese owned company. We're from Crown Mining. We've been in Golden Diamond Mining industry for the past 30 years. This is our new project, 160 acres of land that we have near the Chetty Dragon International Airport, just two miles. We're developing an industrial park there, 1.2 kilometers of waterfront, and we're looking for investment from oil and gas companies and all industries who find it ideal and feasible to invest with us, joint venture, collaborate with us. 
beautiful. See you here? The persons who are business savvy are here and they're on the ground and they're ready to take on the oil industry. They're ready like Freddy. That's strong mining and they have played a role in mining. Now, if you look at it, one would say, a man who doesn't have ambition would say, oh, these people, um, you know, they got so much. They're so big in, my, in the gold mining industry. Why more? But why not? The question is not why, but why and not. Why are we not taking up? Raman McRae, by the way, is one of our premier um, accounting agencies. Christopher Ram is here. I, I think um, Mr. Yes, Christopher Ram and Associates would be behind Ram and McRae. Right? So let's go down this way. What's bond about? Premium insurance. Okay, cool. All right, brother. Cool. PS Shipping and Custom Brokerage Inc. So, again, tell me a little bit about what you guys doing, bro. All right, let me take this off. Yeah, yeah, no problem. The real estate. How are you doing? So, mm -hmm. we're PS Shipping and Custom Brokerage. We're a 100% loan, own local company. We're looking to benefit from the passing of the local content legislation. Um, we're ISO certified 9001 and health and safety 45001. And then we acquired Trace anti-corruption and anti-bribery certification lately. Um, we're here trying to reach out to the foreigners and show that we have the presence and the capacity as local companies to do these services that were once, that are, are, are with the foreigners at the moment. We're trying to get these contracts into locals. And we're working along with other local companies to bring them up to standard. We're trying to help people and other companies to come up and step up. So there are other companies that are filling these positions right now. But as a result of the local content policy, they would not be able to um, do that job from very soon. Are you looking at partnering foreign companies to be able to? Um, have you ever considered that? My idea of the local content, the 40 services that are in Mark for Dining, the reason the legislators and the drafters put that aside mm. is that they say we have the capacity. And we beautiful, do. beautiful, beautiful. We do. But I haven't read the local content policy, so this is the reason I asked that question. But you're saying all that we're discussing is a transition. It's a transition. It's a transition. But we just need to we need some enforcement in it because you will have the people with the sign on and the paper ownership. So we just need to start fighting it now. And this is how we start by showing that we we are here. Local and you have the capacity. We have the capacity and we're here. We have a lot of locals that are coming up and they're trying to step up. And I've been making calls for them to come out and join and, and so on. Because these services are basic. They're not rock and science. They're easy services and we're trying to get there. We want to benefit as much as possible from the oil and gas sector and from the local content. Whatever support I could give you, brother, to make sure the world knows about this, you call me anytime. I will. I will. Well, will. Anytime. So... You've heard from a positive entrepreneur there. I don't know if you walk in or you own the company or what. Well, I know I'd love to have him on my team. You're looking for positive people who are going to take your company places. So the Private Sector Commission has a little booth here. Um, maybe educating people and highlight what they do and how you could benefit from that. So let me just go down this side and imagine, wow beautiful this obviously looks like somebody who does not na oh national hardware beautiful this local again uncle eddie uh what are you guys doing just give me a little update of oh we're from the guy national bureau of standards oh so you guys are here to make sure everything is up to standard so yes. not quite that aspect but we offer six core services technical services to the public mm. which is standard development product verification Verification, product inspection, technical assistance, training, and calibration. Beautiful. Calibration? Yes. You the guy who has calibrated speed guns? No, no. By the way, be looking. Oh, <laughs> mom? <laughs> Just make sure them speed guns up to date. Right, thank you. <laughs> Thanks, you're welcome. So, again, tourism here now. So, when you come here, you get your money. Why go to America? Why go anywhere? And Guyana has, is the number one ecotourism location in the world why go anywhere so this is ramps logistics and i'll now i know it's more of a 
magazine actually is reliable into me. Yeah. Cool. You want to tell me a little bit about what you guys doing? Of course, Rams Logistics, of course. huh? Yes, mm. Rams Logistics. My name is Dale Achman and you know we're happy to be here. Mm. It's really a game changer of a conference. Traditionally, the annual, the largest annual energy conference would have been held in Trinidad around this time of year. There, isn't, there hasn't been one due to the pandemic for the past two years, and it's good to see that it's found a good home in Guyana, right? It's really amazing to see the, 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 the delegates and the, the, the prime ministers and presidents from Ghana, Suriname, and so forth. We at Ram Logistics are particularly proud to be here because in full support of the government's local content legislation, we are happy to announce that we have divested the 51% of our company to our senior management team, giving our Guyanese employees a fair share of the company they worked so hard to build, giving them that back, as well as some private investors, and becoming compliant with content legislation that is so important to us as Caribbean countries. Beautiful. Yeah? Thank you for doing that, buddy. Make money and get rich. <laughs> So, um, you would have seen most of us going on. Let me carry out here the, the Marriott now. I'm going to carry out in the Marriott. Now, I want you to look at this video. I want you to share this video. This is not about controversy. This is not about politics. Holly Burton, one of the biggest um, in the oil industry, are providing services to ExxonMobil in the oil industry. So that wears us back to um, the, the, the hotel. And I want to go. I, I need to get some fresh air. I need to take off this mask. I'm feeling a little exhausted. So, important to note, everybody who is anybody is coming here. And I use the opportunity to come early to make sure that, you know, we're not seeing people, but we're seeing businesses. But, as you see, you know, you come out here just now, that, that operation wasn't in progress and people are continually coming here. You gotta ask yourself, what do you want to benefit from the oil and gas sector? If you're a farmer and it's not been working out for you, maybe you got some CX, you're here. There are schools teaching you welding that is gonna certify you to a level that you could get a job in the oil and gas industry. And I would want to think the government will be working on projects that will uh, bring all the statistics together as to how much welders they need, how much mechanics they need, you know, how much servicemen, how much drivers, and all these kind of things. These are things we got to look at and that are very, very important. I want to close in saying, Guyanese, let's stop squabbling and try to figure out how we can capitalize. I know we've got our differences, political differences and otherwise, but right now, People of all walks of life are in our country looking for opportunities. Why are you not taking those opportunities?